Updating Java can be challenging at times. SolarWinds Patch Manager can make this easier using the Package Boot technology. Let's go through the steps to update Java. The Java update packages are automatically synchronized to the Patch Manager server, and notification is provided via the console and email when the updates are available. First, you will need to publish the JRE version 6 update 34 package. Download the Java installer file from the Java download website. Patch Manager provides the package download assistant to help you get directly to the right website and obtain the correct files. In the center of the package download assistant dialog is the URL of the Java download website. Double click on the URL and you will be taken directly to the JRE 6 update 34 download page. Select the radio button to agree to the Oracle EULA and download the JRE 6 update 34 installation file for x86 systems. For this demo, we will save the file in the download folder on our local machine. When the download is complete, click on the Import Source button. The file name is already populated in the File Open dialog. Navigate to the folder where you downloaded the file and click on Open. The JRE 6 Update 34 installation file is verified and imported into the package definition and stored on the Patch Manager server. Refresh the Sun Packages node to show that the JRE 6 Update 34 file is now downloaded. Right-click and select Publish Packages. Select the upstream WSUS server or software update point if using Configuration Manager and click Next. The package is now being published to the WSUS server. After the client systems have checked in and reported their state, you can identify the client systems that need this update. Use the Update Management Utility to deploy the update to those systems. The Package Boot Utility works in conjunction with the Java Installer to ensure that the proper pre-installation environment is established so that the Java installation will complete successfully. From the Active Tasks node, you can monitor the progress of the Java update deployment on your selected target systems. When the task is completed, you can review the success of your task in the task history. Here we see that the Java update successfully downloaded and installed on our system. This successful update is made possible because of the Package Boot technology and Patch Manager. Package Boot allows the execution of pre-installation tasks, such as starting, stopping services, terminating processes, running programs, and testing for files with locks, and terminating the processes that hold those locks. It also allows the execution of post-installation tasks, such as starting, stopping services, and running other programs. Let's see what happens when we try to deploy this Java update without using Package Boot. We will edit a copy of the JRE6 Update 34 package to turn off Package Boot, and then publish the package without Package Boot to our WSS server. Now that we have published our Package Boot disabled JRE6 Update 34 package to our WSS server, we will now attempt to deploy it to our target systems. In the task history, you can see that the update installation has failed because the features of Package Boot that are used to properly prepare the installation environment were not available. Now you know how easy it is to successfully deploy a Java update using Patch Manager and the Package Boot technology. To try it yourself, simply download a free 30-day evaluation of SolarWinds Patch Manager and deploy your own Java update.